just what you expected. Call it a self-fulfilling prophecy or just pure coincidence. But if the 8th edition of Goa Fest was to be described in one word, unexpected would be it. It's been over a week since Goa Fest concluded and the industry is still reeling. In a year where scam and plagiarism have become everyday parlance amongst the advertising fraternity, the Creative Abbey's very own Hall of Shame is just like the beaches of Goa, never-ending. Goa Fest 2013 has brought with it the murky withdrawal of nearly 10 Creative Abbeys with new allegations surfacing every day and a Grand Prix winner facing charges of plagiarism. So, is an industry that is just as corrupt as our politicians, incapable of playing by the rules. Goa Fest doesn't need stricter rules, it needs a radical change. A fresh format possibly before the awards and the fraternity become a global laughing stock. Nikita Saxena and Tara Kapoor explore. What we have seen happen at Goa recently is the equivalent of a Nirbhaya for advertising. Just like Nirbhaya, it wasn't as if rapes didn't used to happen before, but this time it was something different and special, largely led by the fact that all of us had much more access to information. In the worst case, as we saw in this year, the industry becomes a laughing stock. In the best case, it is irrelevant. You look at it how it looks from the outside world, that the principal preoccupation of an industry, which is servicing some of the biggest businesses in the world, is how to choose to reward itself, and what kind of a party to have once a year. What does it say about an industry? The scam issue is not something that was born yesterday. It's been plaguing us for years, but I don't think anyone's uh, probably remotely thought of a solution in that space. Uh, I think it's about time before we start getting our noses cut in the international world uh, that uh, we need to find a solution and uh, find a way to adapt rather than to just, just challenge the system every year. Let's take a look at the root of all of Goa Fest's problems today. Scam ads. Be it creative directors across top agencies or upcoming talent, the message is loud and clear. Guys, wake up! Leo Burnett, Futata, Salt Live. Welcome back, Leo Burnett. Proactive work may be illegal, but it's still crucial for that all-important peer recognition. And the route for this glory is through path-breaking content that clients may or may not approve otherwise. This self-indulgent industry is also of the opinion that scam ads aren't a scam, they're just a necessary evil. Permission, not permission, you know, if it were to win eclots all over the world, you know, everyone would have uh, really forgotten about all that. I think uh, proactive work is uh, very good. Proactive work is very good. Is it a good thing to create proactive work for uh, your clients? I think there is nothing wrong with that. It is essential, uh, especially uh, from a creative perspective. I don't think it is some sacrilegious uh, uh, bad thing uh, when people create ads with the intent of displaying ex excellence. What's the solution? Well, if celebration of craft is all that Goa Fest is about, then we say do away with the awards. Do away with the format. And do away with the double standards. Make the Abbeys a true display of creativity and follow the structure of a fashion show or an auto show. Make a prototype, use a fictitious brand and display work that would get you accolades but not revenues or mass appeal in the market. A perfect situation in which agencies promote new talent, experiment to their heart's content and do not compromise their clients or the credibility of the very awards 
that have so much gravitas for the ad fraternity. The fashion industry never says that, please give us a cash memo of a linking road shop that somebody has bought it. They don't ask for it, right? Don't make a charade saying that this was real work, this was not real work. Celebrate craft for the sake of craft. Then it may or may not necessarily be linked to client. When you see fashion shows, you see clothes that don't necessarily sell in the store of that designer. So I would say, yeah, do awards. Do a showcase award show which recognizes and rewards pure play creativity. But if it's going to be fictitious work, create fictitious brands. You know, call it alpha cars, beta soft drinks. And so there's no restriction from client, no restriction from anything. If you look at the car shows, you see all these super sports cars who will never ever be produced, but they are giving you a good glimpse of where the future technology is going. And it's great to have that, as long as you're also building great products and great cars, which everybody can buy and you see them on the street. And I think it's important to have the prototypes. And I'm motivating all people, but also the industry to say, look beyond the barriers, look outside the box, play around and try to be innovative, which is important. No facade of getting client approvals, no work that is published in an obscure corner of the world and hence no scope for illegalities. So once you take away the scam versus real thing, it hopefully will solve the creative director politics because every creative director now has a free reign to go and do anything he or she wants. If after that they still don't want to play, then maybe they don't have the game. That's where the opportunity lies to, to, to bring in the so-called scam and legitimize it under proactive, unreleased or whatever category they want to name it, uh, so that people don't get into this ugly space uh, called scam. Those are the changes that I'm saying need to be brought into uh, GoaFest so that it brings the, the legitimacy back into the, into the show. Because right now, marketers like us are all uh, questioning the validity or the authenticity or, you know, just the mere credentials of uh, this entire event. Clients, on the other hand, can finally breathe easy with a system such as this. The brand's assets would not be at stake. Furthermore, a transparent process like this one would help bring some of the credibility back to GoaFest in the eyes of marketers who are increasingly disillusioned with the awards, considering they've become more the hallmark of controversy than creativity. This showcase would also double up as an opportunity for advertisers to explore greener pastures, see the viability of ideas they may have previously rejected, appreciate newer concepts and push the envelope with innovative communication. If as a client, I got to go to Goa and see not six, not eight, but arguably a hundred agencies put up work both in theory for me or my category and also for other categories without the pressures of the client brief weighing on them. I would effectively be seeing a vast speculative pitch festival. Clients like me would be very happy to visit GoaFest in a time like this and see a lot of creative work which nobody's ever used and based on that pick the creative people we want to work with. From a client point of view, yes, uh, if these kind of a uh, uh, fairly a generic type of uh, creativity uh, certainly it helps our marketing team to look at those kind of uh, output from the agencies and uh, certainly it will open up our uh, uh, creative thinking also. But you know Nikita, just to be devil's advocate, this new system does raise a couple of question marks. A. Would it completely ignore real work that helps building brands? And B. Would an awards that revolves around fictitious work actually generate the same levels of competition and interest from agencies? Let's hear out what Shashi Sinha had to say when he spoke to us earlier. It's not an easy answer. It's not, uh, you know, they want that uh, veneer. Otherwise, if you just have a craft award, half the people will not be interested because it's pleasing yourself. Finally, what is advertising all about? It's paid communication to fulfill a client's needs. So they want that cover. So my contention is don't give advertising as a name. So minute you don't give advertising as a name, no one will be interested in it. Granted, but Tara, don't forget that if seriously implemented, this is an idea that could help GoaFest save its tarnished reputation and solve our industry's great creative itch. It's just a matter of fine-tuning the blueprint. 
and who knows if the agencies are able to execute this idea and copyright their own concepts clients may go to goa fest get inspired and the industry would actually be able to monetize and make good of its great creative indulgence <laughs>